Oh, Angry Ange here, and today I'll show you how to hang anything on the wall. I'm going to hang these snowshoes. You can take this concept and pretty much apply it to anything. All right, let's stop bullshitting around. All right, first things first, figure out what you want to hang. So I found these snowshoes at an antique shop. I thought they were pretty cool, and they kind of matched my whole decor up in my upstate house. So I figured, why not? What I like to do is I like to set it up on the floor, move it around, put it in different positions to see how I would like it before I start putting holes in the wall. Yeah, that looks good. After you figure out your layout, now you have to figure out how you can hang it. I think we're going to hang it over here, and then I'm going to put another screw on the bottom. And at this point, you should be thinking of what type of fasteners you want to use to hang this. I'm thinking about maybe a hook, a long screw, maybe a nail. These are key parts because if you don't put the proper fastener and if you don't put it in the right location, this thing could potentially fall. Now, if it was super heavy or it was fragile, it might break too. So we gotta be careful and think about it. So I had some things laying around, found this hook, see if this is gonna work. Yeah, this is garbage, get rid of it. Next, I found this long screw, about four inches. Remember, you want the hook or the screw to be longer than what you're hanging because you need it to go into the wall a little bit. So what I also like to do is I like to use cabinet silencers on whatever I'm hanging. It helps it from scratching the wall. Sometimes these things are a little dirty and they kind of mark up the wall. So it helps it sit off the wall a little bit. So what I do is I place this in strategic areas where I think this thing is going to touch the wall. You know, I put a few more here and there just in case. But, you know, you don't have to do this. This is something I've been doing for a long time. I like it. It's been working for a long time. So. I just do it to everything, anything like this I hang. You don't have to do it to a picture frame, but things like this, I like doing it. If you don't want to do it, that's fine. You can just skip over this part. I'm sure a lot of you are saying, what the fuck is a cabinet silencer? Well, you haven't noticed that little semicircle thing clear usually on the bottom of your cabinet. It helps it, doesn't make a noise when you slam it, but if it wasn't there, it'd make a loud noise. Yeah, that's what those are. So, you know, it's the little things in life that people don't really notice that's there until it's not there. That's what these are. And I'll leave a link in the description to where to get these. So not to bore the shit out of everybody, I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit, kind of get this over with because I'm about to fall asleep myself. So just hold tight. All right, so now we're up to hanging. So most likely I'm not gonna hit a stud. So I like using these easy anchor drywall screws. This could hold up to 50 pounds. You know, they have one up to 75 pounds, but that's way too overboard for this. I think these things maybe weigh about 10 pounds combined. So this is more than enough. Super easy to install. You literally only need a screwdriver. I'll show you how to install that right now. Oh, did I mention the only thing you're going to need to hang something is this screwdriver and this is what it's for. So you literally use the anchor as a screw and you literally screw it in the wall. This is literally the easiest thing in the world. If you can't do this, please do yourself a favor, pack your shit and get the F out of here. So after screwing in the anchor, now you're going to screw in the screw. Now remember, you got to keep in mind the depth of the actual material you want to hold because you want to make sure the screw isn't too far in. But also, you want to make sure the screw is in far enough that the anchor actually engages. Yeah, that looks good right around there. Now I'm going to go get my snowshoes to hang. All right, since we got that first screw in, now what we're going to do is we're going to hang the snowshoes. I like doing this to see where the second screw can go. There goes my shoe. Almost knocked on the camera on that one. So what I like to do is, you know, hang it up. Try to figure out where the second screw is going to have to land. Now, it also helps when there's somebody else helping you visualize this from afar to help you see actually how this thing's going to look. It took me a little bit to kind of figure out how it's going to sit on the wall. I had to readjust it quite a few times. I didn't like the first few times I did it. Remember to hit that like, subscribe, and notification to get all my newest content.
So that looks good right about there. Let me just get a pencil, mark it, and we can start putting in the second screw. All right, so same concept as the first screw. You're gonna take your anchor and you're gonna screw it into the wall. Make sure it's all in there. And then you're gonna take the second screw and you're gonna mount the second screw. So now remember, doing this, it changes with whatever you're hanging. You're not gonna have, let's say, two screws on top of each other all the time. You might have two screws diagonally from each other. You might have two screws on the side of each other. You might even have three, four, five screws in there. So I like to take it easy and do a screw by screw to kind of really see what's going on. But once again, I like laying it out on the ground, really seeing how it's gonna look. Then one screw at a time on the wall, move it around, take it off, put it down, you know, this took me a few minutes to hang, but some things might take, you know, 20, 30 minutes to hang. So just be patient, try to figure it out, try to think three, four steps ahead before you actually do something and you'll be in good shape. So the last thing to do is to hang it back up to see how it really looks. You know, you could still have minor adjustments at this point, but at this point you're pretty much set in stone for where it's gonna be. And there you have it. That's how you hang cool stuff on the wall. I think this came out pretty cool. Matches the decor. This is my mountain house. So, you know, kind of goes with everything. Remember to subscribe, like, and hit the notification to get my latest and newest material. I'll see you next time and fix your fucking house.